Good evening, folks. How's it going? It's your boy, the G Flash, and uh, welcome back for some more Faye Banner trailer uh, impressions. So, I'm joined by two guests tonight Tatiana Master Long and Can Dog the Yoshi Main. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. All right, so uh, we finally got our new heroes trailer tonight. Now, I pulled out the Twitter video and I actually just didn't, I didn't read the description. So I'm going in this completely blind because I like to be surprised. But I'm sure you two had the YouTube video pulled up already. So I'm just going to go. I have seen greatness. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, I'll see it for myself and see how great it is. So uh, uh, I don't see anything else, but. One of my favorite games. All right. Well, let's uh, let's check out what's in here then. So, three, two, one, play. Oh my God! Please be so good. Please be good. Please be good. Mm hmm. Oh, the first is the sound of unit. Okay, who is it? No oh, way. Wait, who is it? <gasps> Whoa, Zalaga. <laughs> Why are you here again, Soka? As if I've been reborn. <laughs> wow, a colorless tone Celica. Okay, she has soul of Sophia. Okay, infantry no fall off. <laughs> oh, that sounds game changing. <laughs> okay. Alright, who we have here? <laughs> oh! It's Valentia Est! Finally settled down, and then I got kidnapped by pirates. Just my luck. Oh. <laughs> we have every single one of them now. Oh yeah, we goodness. have every single one of them. Oh. Everyone is here. Yup. Oh, I'm ready. Oh. Wait, this guy. Uh, uh, what's his name? I for, I forgot. Kamui. Okay. Right. Oh, speed defense ideal and attack defense. Oh. I'm just in it for the it's money. Nice spider, though. Yeah, another new hero joins the battle. Wait. Oh, this is the. Yeah, that's oh, good. the new girl! Well, that was fast. I am Amir, dragon of life and steward of its realm. Green oh, cavalry yeah. dragon. All right. Oh, <laughs> damn! Oh my Whoa. God! Whoa! My goodness! Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm. I'm blessed. Oh, okay. What? Wait. That's a great. Wait. 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 Okay, so of course that's all of that. Wow, okay, so that was a pretty uh awesome Shadows of Valentia banner though. Oops, I'm legit crying. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's go uh over every unit now. So first off we've got Accentus Celica. Now I don't know what this outfit is based on because uh, I never played Shadows of Valentia. Tati, I think you did, so you, wh where is this that's outfit great. from? That's and this is basically the third outfit, or like after, or you get after she class changes again. Uh, oh my gosh! But I, I'm hey, okay. literally I'm shaking. I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm shaking oh. so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Well, that's cool though. I will say. So, let's take a look at uh, what she's got. 
So he's got Milla's Testament. So he's got Slaying Effect. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces, it grants attack speed plus six. Uh, neutralizes effect that. Okay, so that's half tempo. Deals damage equal to 10% of foe's attack. And also, if she's about 25% and the foe. Oh, and then Miracle. Okay, so she's got um, Slaying, Attack Speed plus six. Uh, oh, wait. Did, um. Uh, let me check something real quick. Did Phoenix post the. T oh, he doesn't have the TLDR. Okay. He's probably making that right now. All right. A anyway, so Slaying Effect, Attack Speed plus six. Uh, half tempo, and then 10% uh, of foes attack, true damage, and then m if she's healthy, she gets miracle. Okay, so that's oh. that's a pretty good combo right there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And then oh. she's got Moonbo, Life and Death 4, Soul of Zofia, which of course we know what that is, is no follow-up and uh and desperation. Basically, this is this is legendaries, right? Yep, legendary Solacus. Oh, I'm sorry, my tears are not. Cool. Oh, yeah, no. and then my, my tears are not stopping. <laughs> and then we have a, a new C skill called Infantry No Follow Three, and this is just at start of turn grants the status No Follow Up to Infantry allies within two spaces of the unit. Oh, okay, this is good. So, oh. that is very, very good that you can have grant the status no follow up to your infantry allies within two spaces of your unit. And this is another amazing thing because you know how how many people were so bought heard about a uh, legendary Roy not getting no follow up in his refine? Well, there you go. Yeah. T this is where team building comes into play. With um, X and Celica, that solves that problem. You don't need male Violet with his dry no fall up. No, you can just have the no fall up status on your legendary Roy. Boom, he can just go into combat. There you go. Oh my, I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing mixed emotions right now. Yeah. <laughs> One, of course, this thing right here. But two, my orbs are dead. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Go rest in peace. My yeah. joy. I might just about. I might just about just dump everything. <laughs> yeah. So that's a uh, Axanisalica for you. I it's a pretty interesting unit, I will say. Uh, next yeah. up, we've got uh, the final White Wing in the Valentian for Est. And she's a lance flyer, of course. <laughs> and then, so she's got tri edge lance, and she's it's got a uh, near trace canto, which is good. And then attack plus three if unit initiates combat or is within two spaces, uh, grants all stats plus five, deals damage equal twenty percent of her res, and reduces damage from foe's first attack by forty percent. Okay, that's pretty good because that automatically means uh. S is gonna have super high res, so this mm. will work pretty good with her. Uh, yes. Iceberg, attack res push four. A new flow skill, flow feather three. Okay, what is this? If unit initiates combat, uh, half no follow up, and also if unit speed is greater than the foe speed minus 10, deals damage during combat equals 70% of difference between res stats. And reduces damage from frost attack by 70% of the difference. Uh, maximum seven. Oh, okay. So this is the res variant of the um, wyvern fly, kind of. So as long as you're faster than the foe and you've got more res, then you um, deal, you know, true damage. Like, uh, oh, deal damage during combat, which I guess is. Uh, uh, in combat, like debuff or damage like that, and then it, you it is, it is okay, and then you reduce his damage from foe's attack by 70%. So that's actually pretty good. So you can put this on, you know, people like the normal Sita and Claire. Um, and uh, what other Pegasus um flyers that have high res and high speed? Like any of the high res and high speed Pegasus uh 
you know, units can make good use of it. Um, oh, for sure. Oh, oh. I mean, that's the only two I can think of for now. I don't uh, know if anything else, but for now, Claire, I need to do that more. I, mm -hmm. I know. Because I, um, I don't own that much units. Oh. Let me do a quick a roster check real quick. Okay, Aranus can't use it because she doesn't have higher res. Um, Thea could, but I mean, Thea's got a lot of different options now. Uh, who else has higher uh -huh. res? Hmm? Um. Sorry. Sorry. Uh. I'm a fine worm. She could, but, uh... Let me... Oh, like, about 30? Uh, let's see... Uh, normal S. Yeah, normal S could make use of it. That's mm -hmm. about that's about all I can think of, because the axe-wielding <laughs> units are mostly just all wyverns, so, um... Yeah, that's, that's about it I can think of, but this is a, a decent skill for the flyers, I will say. Yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, next up, we've got our four-star D-mode of the banner, Kamui, which I heard he's pretty popular. So he's a sword yeah. He's a sword infantry unit, and he's got some pretty good skills. So he's got a new sword called Upfront Blade Plus. At start of combat, if foes HP is greater than 75%, grants attack speed plus five to unit and neutralizes units penalties to attack and speed during combat what wow we have an inheritable uh penalty neutralization weapon now that's a uh, <laughs> yeah wow okay that's uh that's incredible i would say um, and then there's oh, Luna, Speed yeah. Defense Ideal 3, and then Attack Defense Oath. Mm -hmm. So we got another one of those Ideal skills, which is really good. Um, and then the Oath skill could is going to age a lot better now because the Tier 4 versions are starting to come out. So I'm guessing this guy will have Attack and Defense Oath at 4 star, and then Speed Defense Ideal at 5 star. Oh. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this is amazing. We got uh, actually got another good uh, demo unit, I will say. All right, now mm -hmm. let's talk about the <laughs> absolute grand prize of this of the banner, uh, Yamir, which is our yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. No worries. Okay, so Ymir is a Calvary Green Dragon. So finally, we got the Green Dragon version of Calvary. We had Mosspell and Niffle. Oh yeah, we have a colorless uh, Calvary Dragon and Summer Niffle. So now the Weapon Triangle is complete for Calvary Dragons now. Yep. So she's our new uh, uh, OC from the Tempest Trials that we just, you know, play through. And um, mm -hmm. let's see what she gives. So she's got ever living breath, attack plus three. If a rally skill or movement assist skill is used by unit or targets, restore ten HP to allies within two spaces of unit and target after movement, then neutralizes any penalty on those allies. <laughs> wow! What? At start of combat, if she's above twenty four percent, all stats plus five. And unit makes a guaranteed follow-up and then adaptive damage. Wow, this is a hybrid breath right here. So using rally or any movement assist skill, uh heals 10 HP to the allies within two spaces of Ymir and target after movement, then uh cancels out any penalties on them as well. So and then all stats plus five, and then uh auto um makes a guaranteed follow-up. So that's good. That means Ymir is gonna be really slow mm -hmm. and gonna be a slow tank. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. So then rally up attack plus. 
attack res unity and then there's ar near trace three okay so this is the attack res version of the near trace skill so that's good and then she's got her exclusive uh slot beast slot c skill ever living domain if units within two spaces of any ally grants defense and res plus four and the following effect to unit and those allies during combat if units hp is greater than 75 percent and forward reduce units hp to zero units survives with one hp Wh what wait what? you're telling me that ymir gives drive miracle to your allies i'm guessing so damn that is absolute <laughs> wow that is that is absolutely crazy it is oh my oh yeah my now of course this only works once per combat but still like <laughs> that's incredible drive miracle yeah it, that's, oh. i i can't believe it now so basically she just became like she's just like most spell and niffle she's another god that provides support can, can we just all right i request this her weapon to be the net reform i'm just saying wow wow <laughs> oh wow that this is this is amazing so oh my gosh i I don't know who to choose. Should I choose Salika or Ymir? I because I think I'm gonna have to choose Ymir to spark because she's just so unique as a unit. She's high great gonna... great support and possibly great combat as well. I'm gonna pick Ymir just for that far there. If oh. I if I would spark. Oh yeah. So <laughs> I'm going Salika every single day because I don't give a dang. Oh yeah, you're a big Valencia stan. Oh yeah, I guess I can go on him. Oh man, this Let's is see. so good. I, I, I oh, this man's pretty good in my opinion. Yeah, pretty so. Uh huh. All right, I gotta amazing. say this uh this beast transformation it's of amazing. yeah, and this beast figure or dragon figure of oh, Ymir looks pretty sick. She's literally like the god of this of life, pretty much. Like, you got the tree branches, you got the water tail. Like, she's kind of like the goddess of life that creates the nature, to be honest. Oh, she's a grass. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? <laughs> Just, yeah, she's a grass type if we're talking about Pokemon turn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, wow, I, I'm uh, I'm speechless. I gotta say, and I'm so I'm proud we got we got her as a unit like this quick. I'm dying over here. So <laughs> yeah. So this banner, of course, comes out on the 19th, uh, and of course we have our uh, new four star, three and four star uh, automatically added unit, Atlas. Uh, the forest muscle and he's a axe infantry unit now he looks like he have a preferred weapon because he's got if you see in he's getting plus five to all of his stats in combat so i'm guessing he has a preferred weapon because so far there's no okay. inheritable weapon that gives you like plus five to all your stats and we can clearly see that this blue flyer has I think a um, a rain skill, a speed and res rain. So this is probably the. Oh wait, hold on a minute. I think I'm wrong. Hold on. Maybe no. Maybe he has an inheritable axe that gives him attack and defense plus five because I don't see like a plus one. If he has a plus one to his speed and res, then yeah, that means it's all five plus five all set. But he doesn't, so that means he probably has. An inheritable axe with granting him the attack and defense plus five and something pretty much. All right, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. You want me to tell you? Wait, what, Kendall? You kind of cut out. Can I tell you, you want you guys to know who's the GHB? 
Yeah, it's Brigand Boss. Brigand. I was gonna say. <laughs> What game is he from? It's no SOV. What are you saying? Oh my god! <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. That's 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 very convenient. Mhm. Mm what are you thinking about? It's an SOV banner. What do you expect? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, wow. Yeah. I need some trees. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, also, oh. Phoenix pointed out that Atlas looks like he's got Stout Axe. Uh, now, can somebody remind me what Stout Lance does? Wait, Stout. Wait, hold on a minute. Stout Lance, isn't that the non seasonal version of the uh, Dancer Eldigan's candle weapon that gives yes, you yeah, attack and yes. defense and yes, first attack yes, is 50% yeah. damage reduction? Yes, that's yep. the one, Court and Candle, yeah. Oh, if Atlas has that, then that's actually pretty good. Oh, yeah. Because sure. of the damage reduction. We, well, he's actually that We know what happens here in this house. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Most definitely. All right. So, yeah, that's the banner, and you can spark on it, because this is a normal hero banner. Um, so... Yeah, that's about it. So this is a pretty good banner to summon on if you're a SOV fan. Uh, I would say go, definitely go Spark for if you want. Go get Ymir. She's just so unique as a god that does provide amazing support. And then I would say Celica and then Est and then K Kamui. And also it, you won't. And another thing is summon on Green will be good because then you'll pick up some copies of Atlas. Uh, which I believe he should be the three and four star, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. okay, so you'll pick up some copies of Atlas, and I know he has soul, so hopefully he's got some uh, better skills, I will say. And uh, yeah, we'll see how Atlas turns out then. Oh, and I can't wait to see what Brigand Boss turns out as a GHB unit. I'm more than excited. Oh, yeah. So, yep, there you go, guys. That's our impression on it. So, what did you think of it? L let me know down in the comments below what you think of this new SOV banner featuring uh, the new character goddess Ymir from the Tempest Trials of Continuation of Book 3. Uh, if you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe if you want to see me do more of these videos. And uh, with that being said, I will see you all in my next video. So, thank you so much for watching, and it's your boy, the G-Flash, signing out. See you soon.